bit in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. And magandang gabi. <laughs> yes. Family, friends, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Sissy, I'm Gabby's sister, Adrian. <laughs> You may already know that though, I think most of us are related. <laughs> and um, if we aren't somehow related, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I have been so, so ecstatic for this day to arrive, and now it's finally here. I was so graciously given the title, Maid of Honor, but I think that's because I feel extremely, extremely honored to witness the evolution of this love and to express just how much I adore and appreciate this amazing couple right here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, I met Gabby on June 22nd, 1999, <laughs> AKA my day of birth. <laughs> However, I don't know who Gabby is because I've always just called her Ate, which is the Tagalog word for sister, or Ade. Ade, which is my version, <laughs> or simply sister. However, while that was the first day that I met her, she already knew and loved me long before that. My sister has always been my number one supporter, not from day one, but from day negative 274. <laughs> if you do the math, that's nine months. <laughs> and when my mom was pregnant with me, my sister would kiss my mom's belly every night, saying, good night, baby, I love you. <laughs> And she would go down the slide at school with her arms circled in front of her to practice how she would hold her new baby brother. They thought I was going to be a boy. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> and on my first day on earth, when the nurse gave me a shot in the foot, instead of me crying, my sister did. Because she was so distraught that someone would hurt her new baby sister. If all those examples didn't illustrate it enough, let me be the first to tell you that my sister has always been the best example of how to show unconditional love to your family. My whole life, I have seen how she never forgets a birthday for everyone in our family. <laughs> and she's always thinking ahead of little thoughtful ways she can show up for us, including all these letters and driving super far just to make sure not a weekend goes by that she doesn't see my parents. <laughs> And she always gives me the tightest, most, I can barely breathe, bear hugs every time we say goodbye, even if I see her the next day or even the next morning. <laughs> her unwavering love for those around her is something that I have always, always admired. And when I met Jesus, I was delighted to see someone who gave all of that love and time and thoughtfulness right back to her. Aww. I knew I liked him immediately. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I knew I liked him immediately because so, he radiated so this joy and genuine kindness that somehow felt like we were already friends. And when I met his family, I was welcomed, happily welcomed with even more love and kindness. And I had this realization that my family was growing in ways that I had never really thought about before, but now it feels like the biggest blessing. Yay! Yay! I love you too, Grandma. <laughs> I truly couldn't have asked for a better brother-in-law or partner for my sister than Jesus. Anytime I'm with them, I can see just how well they complement one another, how happy he makes my sister, and how much he loves her and vice versa. <laughs> Throughout the five years that they have been together, I've seen them come across challenge after challenge, most of which were no fault of their own. There have been several floods, to name a few. <laughs> um, but with each stressful situation, I watched in awe as they navigated through every struggle as a team, which only brought them closer together and strengthened the foundation of their relationship. And it really inspires me how they manage to keep each other laughing and remain grateful for every turn life takes, good and bad because it's given them the tools and the confidence that together, they can conquer anything. Amen, amen. <laughs> I am so happy to finally celebrate their love with all of you today and to witness this beautiful marriage. <laughs> so please join me in uh, taking your glass 
and raising it in a toast to my sister. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> to my sister and my new Goya Jesus <laughs> and their son, Shiro. <laughs> May your joys be as deep as the ocean and your troubles as light as its foam. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.